Hello, I'm Jan Rodriguez. I'm a field application engineer here at Altium Europe and today I want to comment to you about a customer that is working with Altium Designer and Autodesk Inventor. This customer uh, shared with me the current workflow and I just want to show you what can we offer to improve this uh, workflow of this customer. So let's have a look in my computer to see how works that. The customer explained to me his current workflow. There is an ECAT department using Altium Designer and an MCAT department using Autodesk Inventor. The MCAT department created the housing and provides the construction data. The ECAT department imports the data and creates the PCV outline and do the pre-placement of components. The ECAT exports the PCV and placement also as files and pass it back to the MCAT department. The MCAT then re-import the data and add 3D models to the components and run collision checks. The outcome of this is that the MCAT creates again some files and pass them back to the ECAT. This sometimes results in a change of outline or change of component placement. Again, the ECAT exports and the MCAT imports to verify that. that. Sometimes even worse, this ends up in multiple loops, also there is not good communication between the departments and updates from one side gets interpreted wrongly on the other side. Customer also told me each of these loops takes between one hour and one and a half days. So in this regard, I said, let me show you how we can do this better. And I show him our recently introduced ECAT and CAT collaboration with Concord Pro. So in this example, uh, I will show you how works the collaboration between Altium Designer and Autodesk Inventor? Let's see here, for example, this connector. We can relocate it here and we can push this information to Concord Pro. I can comment here, connector relocation and post. Done. So we are going now to Altium Designer and we can directly pull this information. We can check what they did. We can apply or cancel these changes. I will apply and now it's done. I just need to rewrote and nothing else without export any files and import, just collaboration directly between the MCAT and the ECAT tool. I hope this video was useful for you.